make stupid blockbusters, but you can't make totally stupid ones based on concepts that nobody cares about and then release them into the theaters and expect them to do well against the Avengers, which has had, like, what, like, three two-hour-long trailers by now yeah. that people loved? Like, the Avengers might be a stupid movie. It might be a movie about a bunch of Marvel superheroes that saved the day against aliens, but it's the kind of stupid that people like. You know, it's the kind of stupid that people like you and me like. Like, we like that stuff. It's, like, cool, the Marvel Universe. Yeah, that's actually interesting. Well, yeah, well, the, the thing is that the then characters' made- motivations make sense. They're well-acted. They and tell, they're well written, and the dialogue is good. So that's all I care about. I don't care what they're doing. Yeah, they tell a story, and the characters seem real and identifiable. And it's not about seeming real. It's just the characters seem like people, and they yeah. do things that are entertaining. They aren't just there to further. They aren't just there so that you can have a scene in your movie where an alien kills a guy, and that's the only point of that character. And they make no effort is made to make them make any sense or for you to care about that character at all in any possible way. I hated every character in this movie, except like, like the main, main, main character, that red haired girl, she's almost a character that you give a fuck about. Um, Charlize Theron, because of her acting makes her character almost matter, but her character is so badly written that she can't like, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Like you, you did, don't care about. The did character. you? Uh, did you? Um, <clears throat> did you ever see the core? No, I never saw the core. Though I heard, I heard magical. Th- this seems like a similar. Yeah, I would say from what I heard and from the stupid things that happened in that movie, I, I assume that this is. I would say this, like this is the core. It's just that, it's it sucks. Like it's totally unfair because. Movies like The Core, um, online, I, uh, I made uh, a comparison to this movie in the movie Deep Blue Sea, which was a, a shark movie right, that right, had right. LL Cool J in it that took place on... Uh, yeah, I remember all about it. Yeah. World War II station. The Deep Blue Sea is a better movie than Prometheus, but no one will ever say that it's a good movie. No one on Rotten Tomatoes will ever give it, like, 80... Uh, like whatever the freshness it got, like 79 or 80 percent freshness, because it has no hype. Like it was a movie about sharks with LL Cool J in it, so nobody gives a fuck. Yeah. This is a, a prequel to Alien, a really good movie, uh, and it's directed by Ridley Scott, and he came up with the whole concept for it. So people are giving this way more cushion and way more credit than it deserves. It's a fucking stupid movie, and I don't care how well. The people working on it made it. Like, they made it really good. Like, they really created... Like, it looks like these people went to this planet and, like, stuff happened. Like, I'll give them that. But, like, it was so annoying that I couldn't enjoy that because the story being told was retardedly told. And the the story isn't even bad. The, the story, like if you did the, a synopsis of what the story actually is, could have been really interesting. It could have been better than 2001's story. Um, mm-hmm. And it's 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 fairly similar to that. It, it was very similar to Blade Runner's story as well. It had a good story, so I, I can't even say like, like a lot of people were saying like, oh, the story sucks in this movie. No, it doesn't. What the way they tell it, and the characters, and and the, well, I guess the story of the movie, but the kind of bigger theme that the movie points to is interesting and is cool, but it's just the way you're exposed to it, the sort of window into it that you get, is so retarded that it's just like, you're just like, why? Like, why does this have to be so bad? Uh, this, it, you could have made such a... a you could have made a really weak, kind of forgettable movie to do this concept, and it, I would have actually enjoyed the movie a lot because the theme and the setting and, and, and everything else was so cool, but they managed to make a story so bad and characters so bad that all of it is ruined. Like, Yep. Well, that, rather... that about concludes our Prometheus portion. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you wound me up again. I... I just wanted to say what I said at the end of the movie, which was woof, and then you fell off, Scott. That's well, really all I wanted to add. But then I got back into stuff. You're, well, you know, I knew that you would. <laughs> you're the one in charge of editing anyway, so you can you can deal with, with that. Clean sure. up your own mess. Um, 
a lot of YouTubes. The Prometheus part alone will be five. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, so yeah, a- I have to uh, have to do a few things, and yeah. I want to thank you for podcasting with me today. Thanks, Alex. And uh, we'll do it again soon. And um, I'm gonna stop recording now by pressing the big red square. <laughs> Is that going to be your sign-off from now on? Uh, That's a good sign-off. Thank you.